Polly's Pen Pal, a math start book about metrics by Stuart J. Murphy, illustrated by Remy Samard, level three. Montreal. To Allie, subject, pen pals. Dear Allie, hi, my teacher gave me your email address so we can be pen pals. Cool. She said we are a lot alike, even though you live in Canada and I live in the United States. We are both eight years old and we both have nicknames. My real name is Priscilla, but everyone calls me Polly. And Allie is short for Allison, right? What else is the same about us? I like to play softball. What about you? Your pal, Polly. I've got a new pen pal, Polly told her family. I wrote to her already. She lives in Canada, in Montreal. My teacher said you can learn a lot from having a pen pal in another country. I have a business trip to Montreal coming up soon, said Dad. Maybe you can come with me and meet your pen pal in person. Here's a message for you, Polly, said Mom the next day. Let me see, said Polly. To Polly. Subject, pen pals. Dear Polly, how awesome. I'm sure we are a lot alike. Only I like reading about horses better than playing softball. My favorite color is purple. What's yours? I have one sister and one brother and one cat. Do you have any sisters or brothers or pets? I'm 125 centimeters tall. How tall are you? Your new friend, Allie. P.S. Send me your address and I'll send you a picture of myself with a note. Written with a pen. Is she taller than I am? How tall am I in centimeters? Polly asked her dad later that day. Let me see. My baseball bat is about one meter long. That's a hundred centimeters. One quarter of that would be 25 centimeters. You're about the same height as Allie. Maybe just a few centimeters different. And a centimeter is only about as long as the width of my little finger. Polly hurried home to write back to Allie. Subject almost the same. Hey there, Allie. I can't believe how much alike we are. I don't have any brothers or sisters, but I do have a cat. And guess what? My softball uniform is purple. Dad says that I am about 125 centimeters tall too, just like you. How much do you weigh? Your buddy, Polly Romano. I'm half Italian. Polly checked the mail every day when she got home from softball practice. Finally, a big envelope arrived from Allison Lemieux. Polly hurried inside and ripped the envelope open. Hello, Polly. I'm part Italian, too. Plus, I'm part Dutch and part French. That's why I've got a French last name. I weigh just over 25 kilograms. Send me some pictures of you, too. Your real pen pal, Allie. Polly ran into the backyard to show Allie's picture to her dad. I bet I weigh about 25 kilograms, too. Well, your weight might be a kilogram or two different than Allie's. A kilogram is a thousand grams, and a gram is only about a weight of a leaf. This bat weighs about a kilogram. You probably weigh about as much as 25 bats. The same as Allie. Then Dad had a surprise. Guess what, he said. My trip to Montreal is next week. I wrote to the tourist office and they sent me a map. They even found a hotel for us not far from Allie's house. Do you want to come? Hooray, I can meet Allie, shouted Polly. She dashed off to write an email telling Allie all about their plans. Later, Polly and her dad looked at the map and found out that Montreal was 450 kilometers away. How long is a kilometer, she asked. Well, it's 1,000 meters, said Dad. Let's see, we live five blocks from your school. That's about a kilometer. USA Polly's house to Montreal. The following week, Polly and her dad were off to Montreal. Soon after they crossed the border into Canada, they stopped for gas. We're almost on empty, said Dad. I'll need quite a few liters. 
Bienvenue, welcome. How much is a liter? It's about the same as that carton of juice. And guess what? In Canada, they call it a petrol instead of gas. When they got to the hotel in Montreal, Polly couldn't wait to get on the scale. She weighed 26 kilograms. Almost the same as Allie, she said. Polly's dad gave her his cell phone to call Allie. I'm here, announced Polly. Great, said Allie. Let me give you directions to my house. Write them down. Instead of writing down the directions, Polly and her dad hurried outside. First, Allie said, turn left outside your hotel and walk about a hundred meters. A meter is about two of my steps. A hundred meters, that's about two hundred steps. Polly and her dad walked while Allie talked. You'll pass a toy store and an ice cream shop, she said. Then you'll be at a corner. Polly looked up and nodded. 197, 198, 199, 200. Phew. Turn left and walk about 60 meters. Allie went on. You'll see a gray house. Walk up the sidewalk and you'll be at my front door. Okay, said Polly. I think I've got it. Great, said Allie. When do you think you can come over? Oops. The doorbell's ringing. I'll be right back. 120 more steps. Surprise! How about right now? Here are some activities you can do around Metric. Here are some more activities you can do around Metric and a few books that are around the same topic.